Hello berries and welcome back to um, yet another custom build that I have spent quite a while thinking about. Now back when I started playing Legion I actually did not enjoy uh, the slowdown Legion or to be gen oriented Legion back when I was climbing my way up to uh, red ranks for the first time. So I tended to use a bit of a more fun build. I, I, if I recall correctly I used brutal strength enduring and uh, monitor and abuse with infectious fright. Essentially, on the lower ranks, I was able to down survivors very e easily with the chasing perks and apply a lot of pressure with infectious fright by slugging. W but today, I thought about a similar idea. In the recent uh, mid chapter, Third Seal has received a buff. The buffing entails that. Hitting a survivor with a basic attack or a special attack, this did not exist before the mid chapter, while the Hex Totem is active, applies the blindness status effect. Essentially, survivors can't see auras, even if I hit them with Feral Frenzy. And hit nailing Feral Frenzy is very, very easy. Now, this will be a great slugging perk along with Infectious Fright. In order to make sure that third, third seal actually lasts, I'm gonna be using Hex and Dying. And to make Legion just that much more terrifying in chase, I'm gonna be putting Enduring for when I'm in the 1v1. And I'm gonna be putting the Iridescent button to be able to break pallets very easily. With the Stolen Sketchbook, I hope to apply uh, Feral, uh, the third seal, the Blindness status effect on uh, more than one survivor, even at the start of the game, so <laughs> they'll be blind for a longer duration. Now, I'm not really sure if I should be taking the map offering on Azarov. Uh, totem spawns are obnoxiously bad for the killer. Uh, so, uh, so is an Ormond. I'm not really sure what I should be going with here. Hmm. How about we start with Midwitch? And then we uh, just play on the random map we get. Jesus. Alright, Grim Pantry. Nice, best totem spawn. Nobody ever knows about that totem spawn. It's, this is gonna be so good. Where's the other one? Nice, also in front of a gem. Beautiful. My two favorite total spawns. Let's go, dude. Ah! I actually don't want a Feral Frenzy. I want to get a, a very quick down and not notify them about the fact that they have this uh, perk. I mean, this add-on. Dedicated. I might be able to get her. Most likely not. Nice. Got her. My first down. Okay, nobody's blind yet. People can still see each other. I'm curious if that will change soon. I think he's down there actually. I think this gen let it regress a little. Commit again. Nice. Okay, so that's three people affected by the blindness status effect. That's perfect, yeah, do that. No idea why. Nice. 
I got stuck. Beautiful. Oh, dead heart. Never mind, I got him again. Everybody's blind. I don't think they know where Quentin is. Let's actually leave him down there. Stab everyone with Feral Frenzy. Where the hell did she go? This Nia is a very strong looper. I don't know if this is why it's chasing her. Mm, nice. Mmm, resilience. I don't think I can get her here. That's resilience vault. Very, very powerful vault. Dead heart? Dead heart? Dead heart? <laughs> nice, Quentin is still lying on the ground, yo. The blindest status effect, nobody knows where he is. Of course, if they were swapped, we would have just sold him in that building. But they really don't know where he is, yo. They are all blind. This is insane. Again, solo queue, this could possibly be Legion's strongest build. Oh, hi. Let me actually just put you on the hook. Like, they saw the hooking bubble, but they won't see his aura. If they haven't seen where Quentin was hooked initially, they're not going to find him. They're not gonna find Nia, too. There's two hooked people. Yeah, they kept an eye where Quentin was hooked. Did they keep an eye where Nia was hooked? Nice, this is perfect. Let's hit her. And Nia died, yo. They didn't pay attention where she was hooked. One second of negligence. Oh, damn. I got stuck. That was undying. They found the totem in, out in the open. Did they notice the totem next to the gen, though? That is my question. This is so aggressive. Hi, how, how's it going? I chose a different path down your ass. I can hook her, but I'd actually rather leave her on the floor. I have only two gens to protect, so I'd rather not hook someone that has been hooked only once. I mean, Quentin was also hooked once and Jane wasn't hooked at all, but... I don't want to waste time hooking. Let's actually find someone else and cause some damage. Yes, yes, they are there. That's, that's fine by me. Let's, try, let's hit Jane here. Ah, that's perfect. I'm gonna go after Quentin. That girl got up with Unbreakable. Mm. That's counter to my uh, to my build. Oh, I got all played by the power of E. Oh. Nice, got him. Let's leave him on the ground and go for the Jane that's doing that gen. EDC'd. He'd rather not lie on the ground for 200 years. This build is very annoying, but practical. Very practical. Why did you run towards me, though? Yo, 
I'll toss you under the hook. She wants to die, man. This build is crazy. Some might say this is annoying as hell, but hey, there's a lot of counterplay to this. Oh, she 4%ed. The hook shook, so I know. It's okay, I'll, I'll re-hook you. Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to, uh, to beg for it. I'll kill you if you want it. There you go. Nice and comfy on the hook. There's a lot of counterplay to this build. There's Unbreakable, which is a meta perk, so a lot of people take it. There is Detective's Hunch, which destroys any and all hexes. Hex spawns are usually in terrible places regardless, like that one. But if all goes well, nobody's carrying Unbreakable, and it's not a swath, and there's no Detective's Hunch. That's a lot of ifs, actually. But this build works splendidly, at least this time. I'll go to the fishing hut. Well, she guessed correctly. It was a deficient hut. Damn, this build worked much better than I thought. Oh, play out. Mm, I actually did not utilize the iridescent button, but the stolen sketchbook came in clutch. Too big of a map for infectious fright. But enduring, undying, and third seal. Especially the two hexes, surprisingly, played a very big role in this. This person had breakable, she used it once. Even if you do end up using a breakable in solo queue, you will most likely, like, nine, not 99 yourself, you'll be draining unbreakables uh, in solo queue. In swaths, a little less. And she had a situational perk and she handled the situation. I doubt that any of them enjoy that game, but I, re I rightly don't care. That was kind of amazing. Quentin was lying on the floor for two minutes, man. Two minutes. Okay, hello. Hmm. Lo, lo, chat. I'm coming both and clearly. Ah, damn. We're on the pale rose. Ah, oh, damn! They brought actually this map. Hopefully, uh, my total spawns are better. I mean, like that's at the edge of the map, so that's pretty good. Uh, this one's also rather hidden. I think I saw a thing here or something. No, must be my imagination, dude. Unbelievable, like, I told him in the corner of the- What are you doing there? Like, legit! Okay. You're a genius. Um, okay. What? Why is there a person up here? Okay, that's two blind people. I mean, two people uh, with a bl blindness status effect. I guess three people with a blindness status effect. Okay. Now it's showtime. <laughs> this girl used light before. I think I can actually uh, down this girl as well. That hurt. Nice. I'll keep that girl on the ground as well. Let's get two hooks right here. I 
infectious fright helps in some. I don't think we have hit the atom. I was correct, it was the atom. Let's go after that girl. Damn it, dude. I was trying to get ahead of her. But she squeezed herself very tightly. Nice, there's nothing up here, she doesn't know. But she does make it to this pallet. Ah, the suction. That was a terrible fake. Nice, you're gonna stay on the ground here. I'm gonna prioritize the two other girls if I can. That was silly. Why do people ever try to drop a pallet on the Legion? It just never works. Like, okay, sometimes it does work, but... They did find her. That's crazy. That was a very dumb dead heart. I have no idea why she didn't just continue looping normally. That girl got picked up. I, it could be that they are swath. Well, they, she was dropped in front of the main boat. Maybe she did have Unbreakable. Oof. So many things could go wrong with this build. But, uh, I mean, I'm having fun. I'm kicking some ass. I got three hooks. That was dumb. There's someone over there. <laughs> you think I'm not gonna go after you, my friend? You are dreaming. Was that live? It was live. You lost a lot of line of sight. Damn, that's a hefty stun, dude. I got him closer to me. He's gonna have to drop it now. That's fine. Enduring? Nah, that's a god pallet. There's no mind game here. That girl is still bleeding on the ground. I'm gonna go right to her because there's two people over there. Damn. Very unfortunate. I mean, only one gen moved if you think about it. That girl being on the ground bought me a lot of time. Nobody around me, that's kind of concerning. They might be doing gen somewhere. Ah, uh, long stun. Dude, they could easily make that three seconds. That's fine. If I kill this girl, I secure the win, I believe. Oh. 
Ooh, barely, very nasty. Drop it, drop it. Nice. My four second stun. What are you doing? Are you serious? Okay. Yeah, this Kane is not the best player. Let's get rid of her. I know I kind of killed her in the traditional way, but the other K Kate was on the ground for two two minutes, dude. Two minutes. Half of her bleed out timer is almost gone. Let's take this gen. They probably see me kicking this gen. They're gonna. Good looping. This girl be moves beautifully. Let's see if we can uh, down her rather quick, I believe. <laughs> she got stuck in the wall. I don't think there's going to be a very quick uh, dead heart animation there. Let's leave her on the ground for a few more centuries. I want to see if there's anybody in these lockers. Could be the Fang. Mm, unfortunate. At the beginning, at, uh, on the main boat, I found her in the locker. I mean, she jumped out of the locker, if I'm not mistaken. Where are you going? I think this guy has some sort of perk that allows him to see him. Maybe empathy. Oh, but wait, they actually can't see auras. Nice, that's perfect. These two people on the ground. And I know where the last person is, uh, thanks to Killer Instinct. This map doesn't have a lot of pals, so it kind of plays in my favor. Yeah, there we go. Scratch marks, a lot of them. She's running on the outskirts of the map because she's desperate and injured. Let's finish the game right now. Beautiful. Did you play it? This girl can't save herself, she's in second hook. So it's GG for this thing. Let's go hook the Adam and by the time I hook him, I believe the Kate will just bleed out on the ground, which is incredibly insane. We drained four minutes on the fly, dude. Adam has deliverance, so most likely he's gonna free himself. But we're just gonna stay in front of him. No point in going for the Kate. Deliverance now or forever hold your tongue because that girl is about to bleed out. <laughs> that was your only chance. You had one chance. Hey guys, so this build works worked twice. Is it a good and viable build? Most likely not. <laughs> Against Swap, you'll get destroyed. And I had two two games where my hexes were uh, not demolished instantly, so I got very, very lucky. So yes, it, the first time I did down her, it was due to unbreak. Uh, she did get up to unbreakable. <laughs> the other times, however, <laughs> ah, didn't help her that much. If she was carrying my Chad no miter build, <laughs> which also, by the way, I would say counters this build to some extent, because you can constantly keep picking yourself up. But that was crazy because we made like a person go completely AWOL, like gone. And while we were chasing other people. So we had a person on the ground. Nobody knows where they are. 
and while we, we can be chasing other people. Oh, that was so damn good. On a map this big with not a lot of pallets? I, I think Grim Pantry is actually the way to go. <laughs> like, unless if you, get, if you get those shitty hex spawns. If you get, like, the, the, the totems at the edges of the map, the survivors are done for. They are done for. Good lord, guys. Like, this is by far not Legion's best build, but it is a lot of fun. <laughs> not for the person that's gathering cobwebs on the floor, mind you. But if you guys want to try this build out, I heartily recommend it. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure playing Legion again uh, after a long hiatus. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.